as women, as women of color, as trans women, I'm literally a walking vessel of like everything that is being erased in the world. Being part of shows is a moment for me to just live and to honestly be seen by the world because for so many years I have been erased from the human race. Hey everyone, I'm Brittany Jones Cooper, and in this episode of Unmuted, I'm chatting with Lena Bloom. The trans model and actress continues to break down barriers and is an outspoken advocate for trans rights and representation. Take me through those early years. How did you break into modeling? I went to a high school called the Chicago Academy for the Arts, and I got a full scholarship to go there. And I was a dancer that could pose really good. I was like looking for like auditions in Chicago. It put me my first like runway show, and then I dealt with like immediately a lot of discrimination and some things I would just never forget. It's just like people would say like give up, trans this, and oh queer this. It was just no protection. It was like a lot of disrespect. It was a lot of misgendering. And I worked with this like really amazing photographer who took a chance on me. And next thing you know, I was shooting for a cover of a magazine. It was hard at first, but I'm glad I went through that. So like the next generation doesn't have to. Yeah, and one way that you're really using your platform is by using your career, by being there, by being the representation. In your new movie, Port Authority, you're the first trans woman of color to lead a feature film at the Cannes Film Festival. Your character is a trans woman who falls in love. So why was it so important for you to portray that romantic experience on screen? I think for me, it was to really anchor the idea that a trans woman can love, a trans woman can be loved. And it really owns in the idea that that's very real. You know, the idea that me, in the world being adored is something that's very unfamiliar territory for a lot of people to even admit or talk about or really sit down and have a conversation with. It's done in such a beautiful way that is very human to us all. It's rooted in love. It's rooted in finding a connection with yourself and finding connection with outside worlds. You know, the trans community is publicly fighting so many battles. What are some of the priorities that you have in elevating trans issues? I think for me and my responsibility has always been to take my visibility and take the visibility of trans um, likeness into every type of experience and every type of room around the world. I think that's what I can do and anything from educating to speaking to writing stories to telling stories to being part of TV shows is a moment for me to just live and be seen front and center finally. So it's time for me to like really understand that I was born in a world I did not fit in, so I'm creating one that I do. Yeah, I noticed that you never hesitate to talk about your own journey as a trans woman of color. And there have been so many firsts in your career. You're the first trans woman of color in the Sports Illustrate swimsuit issue that's coming out in July. How do you handle that responsibility? You know, I would sit and talk to a lot of like people that were the first to do things. One of the people, Tyra Banks, the best advice she gave me is the best advice that I just live by every single day. There would never be another first. You just gotta honestly like know that Everything that you do from today on has to be for the bigger bigger picture, you know, for everyone. This is the moment, this is the platform that you have, this is the responsibility you have for this moment in history. So just remember what you're doing this for and stay true to that. And that's why I feel like it's such a responsibility for me because being the first, I have to really like make sure that I'm not the last person. I wanna thank you for sharing your work and your beauty with the world and congrats on all of your success. Thanks for joining us.